Hey, thanks for clicking the link. I'm Matt and this is Outdoors for a Change. I'm on my home lake with my light action rod. I have light gear today. I'm using Bobby Garland's little ones. I don't know if it's two or three inch. I'll have to get the ruler out and see which ones I have. And we're going to do our best to catch some crappie and some bluegill. I'm thinking it's going to be more crappie than bluegill today. Also, if that bite isn't on, I have some top water baits with me here with my medium heavy rod. I think we'll get some action today. It's been several days since I've had a chance to go out and fish. Uh, it's been busy. I'm doing my best to uh, battle some seasonal uh, depression that I get every time this time of the year. Plus, my son died near Christmas last year, so it's like uh, one of the worst falls of my life. But I'm going to get through it. I always do. I'm going to get through this one, too. And one of the ways I do that is to take you guys fishing. I'm glad you're here. Let's get some fish in the boat. What a beautiful specimen this is. Man, he's got all his fins out. He's ready to do some damage. He's ready to do some damage on me. Well, I hate to break it to him, but this is a catch and cook channel and I can fillet this dude. I don't know how big he is. I'll just check. There's no size limit to uh, crappie in Michigan. Uh, growing up, we called them speckled bass. My dad did. Eh, nine and a quarter. That'll eat, that'll eat just fine. In the bucket he goes. All right. I follow a lot of good channels that would uh, just throw them back. And I get that. They got enough food in their refrigerator and freezer where they don't need to do that. And I do too. I have enough food in the freezer. I'm gonna have dinner whether I catch fish or not. I think they're hugging these lily pads and I gotta let it sink. It's only about five, six and a half feet, five and a half, six and a half feet deep. So I don't have to wait long once I cast.
or something. Yeah. Oh, owie, he stabbed me. He's going in the bucket. My anchor just slipped through the knot. I didn't check it. I was going to the last time I used it and I forgot. Now I gotta buy yet another anchor, except I got one at home. I got a heavier one. I think it's a 12 pound dumbbell. Pins me to the bottom. All right. Now I have no anchor in a windy day. What would you do? Quit? Well, if you're in a kayak, you would know that it gets pretty rough out here in the wind trying to stay in position. So what I'm gonna try is to position myself into some lily pads and just wedge myself into it so I can fish the air each little section. This is gonna be kind of aggressive, but... All of a sudden that anchor got real light. Set the hook on this little dude. I was ready. Set the hook on him. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep him. Pretty little guy. All right, if you guys use gulp minnows, uh, when you get the tails bit off like that, get rid of it it's not gonna work anymore and I got this tip from Justin from kayak catfish he keeps his gulp minnows in a urine specimen I do too now uh, because they're leak proof if you have ever used gulp minnows of any size you know those containers leak like crazy and that juice and that gulp juice stinks See, this one even might be a little suspicious because how the tail's curving upwards. But we'll see. We'll get it wet. But if I don't get any bites, like five casts, I'm probably going to put a new one on. One. Felt him. 
felt him creeping up on it. Real soft bite. I like how they stick their fins up on the top and bottom. Makes them look bigger for the camera. He's not getting the cut either. He's just nice that way. He's just a pretty cool dude that way. As I put him in the bucket. Oh, I'd like to catch 10 more of him. <laughs> little assassin right at the top. This little bad. I don't know if you guys caught that on the camera, but he came out of nowhere right at the surface and stick that bait. Nice size bluegill. Let's get a size on them. No size limit on bluegill here in Michigan. Always check your game regs. So if you starting to get the touch back guys I'm not measuring this guy I'll measure him on the uh, cutting board not a giant but he is flayable and he will be delicious in oil They're biting a little bit. Are they? Oh man. I really hate having to get a snag out and you gotta go right across where you're fishing. Knowing you're screwing it up. Stuff's hitting top water. I haven't had any luck with it. Topwater? Yeah. I've been catching crappie. Got my rod holder and everything installed. To check it out. Oh, I see. You've gone up in the world. I have, I have. Moving on up like the Jeffersons. My new fishing pole. My even, Kistler graphite rod. You even got a bait protector. My grandpa got oh. those for all of us grandkids and everybody in the family that fish because I took one to the finger and I took one to the elbow. You know, he's saying for everybody, but he's only gave it to you because he didn't want you to feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Look who I ran into. What's up guys? Long hey, time no see. Wait, man, you got some uh, mods on your uh, on your rig now. Yeah, I added a couple rat rails on either side. I couldn't put the full extensions on, they were too big, but I got the rails on either side so I can have my uh, rod holder over here and a foam mount over here when I get it. I've got it, I just don't have it up. And I like it, works great. And you, I like the rod holders, you got a new rod too, huh? Bait caster? Yeah, I got this one over here. Another it, bait caster? Yep. That you was, this one back here on my ugly stick was the first one just to try it out. You bought your first one, now you're upgrading your bait caster. Now I've got this Kistler, it's a graphite rod by Kistler with the Series 2 reel on it. How you doing with the uh, bait casters? Um, I'm doing pretty good. I've got this one down pretty well, figured out how to tune it the way I wanted, thanks it to you. Looks a lot better though than uh, the first one. I mean, the more the more you pay. Yeah. I saw this thing how crows attack eagles and they land on their yeah. back and peck on their head. Yep. And what the eagle does that, this is why they're flying. What the eagle does, doesn't freak out. It just climbs straight up into the stratosphere, dude. Yep, it soars as high as it can, and eventually that crow gets, gets passed out from lack of oxygen. Yep. <laughs> and then it does. one of the most awesome things there is. <laughs> there he is. 
Oh, biggest one of the day, Shaney. Nice. And I just called you Shaney. Well, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like crappie fishing or if you like pan fishing or catching cooks, could you do me a favor? Could you hit like and maybe even consider subscribing? If you did, you'd really be helping my young channel out. I appreciate you watching through this entire video and I'm gonna go and hit some lunch with my wife right now. We're gonna eat this protein. We're gonna get some potatoes with it. And I got some followers hot sauce and some adobo with it. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna eat right now and I'm gonna see you in the next episode. When they're sad because we're eating fish and they're not.